Hello students! Today's topic is about the process of determining the plastic limit of the soil sample. Plastic limit, like the liquid limit and shrinkage limit, is one of the consistency limits or also known as the Alterberg limits. Knowing the plastic limit together with the liquid limit is used to classify and identify fine-grained cohesive soils. Plastic limit is an established moisture content where the soils start to become plastic in behavior. It is the boundary where the soil change from the semi-solid state to plastic state. Knowing both the plastic limit and the liquid limit, we can determine the plasticity index of the sample. The plasticity index is the range of moisture content that the soil will be plastic. It is the difference between plastic limit and liquid limit. Plasticity index provides a good information of how the soil performs. The larger the plasticity index, the greater will be the engineering problems in using that soil. It is because it has correlation with other properties such as soil strength, shrinkage swelling, and in-situ earth pressure. The objective of this activity is to determine the plastic limit of the soil sample and the plasticity index of the soil sample. For this activity, these are the following required equipments. the soil sample, sieve the soil sample to sieve number 40 and use only the soil that passed through. Add distilled water and mix it into a homogeneous space in plastic condition. Take a portion of sample and mold it into a ball. Apply a little pressure to make particles stick to each other. Roll the mud ball into a thin rod using your palm and fingers onto the glass flat surface or glass plate. Roll it until it reaches a uniform diameter of 3 mm. Use the 3 mm rod as a reference. If the rod crumbles at the first time before it reaches 3 mm diameter, it means it is in semi-solid state. Add more water to make it plastic. If the rod reaches less than 3 mm diameter, it means that the sample is in the plastic state. The sample should be at plastic state first. If the sample is at plastic state, turn the rod into a ball again and repeat the rolling process until it reaches the 3 mm diameter. Repeat this process until the rod crumbles before it reaches 3 mm diameter. If the rod crumbles before it reaches 3 mm diameter, at this point, it is at plastic limit. Quickly put the sample in the moisture can so that it will not lose moisture. The moisture content of the specimen is the plastic limit of the soil. Watch my moisture content determination video to know how to determine the moisture content. Repeat the process at least three times and get the average plastic limit. You can determine the plasticity index of the sample by using this equation, where PI is the plasticity index, PL is the plastic limit, and LL is the liquid limit. You can determine how plastic the soil is by using this table. Note that if the sample can't be rolled into a thin thread, the sample can be reported as non-plastic.
And that's it. I hope you like the video. Subscribe and see you guys next time. Bye.